And you can sort of get away with it when they're very young and even to- you know toddlers and even yeah. slightly later. But then it's almost the more they break away, they need you to be there to break away from, it seems to me. Exactly. Exactly. And so, sometimes I say to my my 18-year-old who's, you know, just getting ready to to go to college next year, you know, he'll I'll want to show him something. He's sitting in the room and he just won't even look. He won't look. He refuses to look up. I want to show you this. No, I'm not going to lie. Can you even look? No, I don't want to see it. I don't even want to see it. And finally, I get so frustrated. And then I say to him, oh, this is where you're disconnecting from me so you can leave. Mm. I get it. It hurts my feelings, but this is what you're supposed to be doing. Psychologically, this is a healthy moment and I shouldn't be freaking out. Let me readjust myself so I don't have such hurt feelings. And then he'll look up from the couch and go, okay. Like I'm talking this all through out loud because I'm trying to. Right. Exactly. Out. Whatever, mom. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sharon, for joining me on this chat. I, I feel like, um, I got a real insight and 